guess it counts down, Gary. Yes, and the countdown has ended. And we've begun. Yes. <laughs> Here we are again. It is um, Tuesday. Geez, Tuesday, the 22nd of October. Um, we're a little bit delayed on the stats this month because it's been a busy... Yeah. It's been a busy, a busy couple of weeks here uh, at Prodigy Real Estate, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, that looks good, Kerry, I promise. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how's everyone doing on this Tuesday? Um, so what are we going to be talking about, Kerry? We are going to be talking about the uh, Mammoth and Ocean uh, statistics for last month. Which was September. <laughs> Which was September. Yes. Anyway, you seem you seem a little nervous today, you right? I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, we just came back from an exciting home tour. Uh, Gabriella's second was thing, right? Second, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and what we're going to be talking about is obviously, oof. Goodness, the hottest real estate market in the United States is New Jersey. No doubt about it. I mean, some people aren't going to feel that way, obviously, depends you know, where you're located. And I have some really, I broke down some interesting stats. Like, obviously, you have the generalized ones. I took a little time to delve into some of the more specific towns in Jersey that we've seen. One of them is absolutely off the charts. I, I, I was actually shocked to see it. But we do it averages, average sale price and sales, but like it's averages, this doesn't have the medians in it. So mm -hmm. it's hard to really give you a sense of what's happening, but a general idea and what's not and what's not, right? Yes. And today we're celebrating my favorite day. Tuesday? No, it's national. Oh, almond day. <laughs> it's not national. <laughs> Uh, it's pistachio day. Yes. <laughs> Not pistachio day. It's uh, come on, carry. <laughs> anyway, but because I have a big connoisseur of um, of basically cashews and almonds. It's National Make a Dog's Day and National Nut Day. National Nut Day, thank you. And Make a Dog's Day? Make so, a Dog's Day. She's... Uh, she, she, my she, she, the fire. Anyway, let's get into the numbers, Carrie. Because, uh... <laughs> well, let me put on this so we could we could see what's going on. Yes. With, with any comments. We could actually respond to comments today. Most of them, anyway. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, we love to hear from you guys. Are you sure? The, we love to answer your questions. Your real estate related questions. Your real estate related questions. <laughs> Keep them real estate related, guys. Yes. Anyway, so um, what do we have? Uh, what do you want to start with? Um, yeah. So, you know, I always do start with uh, the days on the market. So mm -hmm. for Mammoth and Ocean, the average days on the market have um, actually increased year over year to, um, from, sorry, let me restart that. They've increased uh, like 10% year over year and have decreased 3% month over month, the days on the market. Yeah, so it's not much of a change because when you talk about it from the standpoint of, so we look at uh, cumulative days on the market as a, it's like one of those leading indicators. Are we going up? Are we going sideways? Are we going down? Um, where are we going, basically? So one of the leading indicators is days on the market. A month over month is seeing a 3% 3, 3 decline. 10% year over year. But we're talking about going from 29 days to 32 days mm -hmm. year over year. So when we talk about 10%, it's negligible. These numbers are ridiculously low. 32 days on the market is, just to give you a little insight, I remember when I used to take 100, it was close to 100 days on the market to sell a house. Could you imagine? It took almost wow. four, four months for the average sale price, really? the average house to sell back in 2009, 2010. It was wild times. Hmm. Wild times in real estate, anyway. 
So, um, so on the days on the market, 10% year over year, that's, but when we're talking these numbers, it's really nothing to be. Um, let's really, maybe the next number kind of will jump out at me a little bit more. Yeah, so that's the month's inventory. Um, the month's inventory has increased year, year over year 19% and also has increased month over month uh, about 14%. 14%, okay. So this is one of the things that starting to flare up on the screen because I think people should pay attention to this one. I think what we're looking at is on the month's inventory side, um, the year over year difference of 19%. Now, is that, now we're talking going from 2.1 to 2.14 months uh, to two and a half months. So, not like from that standpoint, it's not like this blaring number that, but it, it's, it's considerable enough to say, um, it's something we have to look at uh, because anytime I see like a 20%, even though we're talking about um, a low supply number, there is seemingly more time, there's more houses on the market. It is taking, which is reflecting the year over year difference, 19% uh, is, is a number that should be recognized. If not, this is no, by, by no stretch, we're talking about two months of inventory, which is, very, very, very tight. That's a tight number. So basically, it take two months. If nothing went on the market today, moving forward, it take two months to remove all of it from the from the from the market. And I think that's one of those things that, like, people who are saying, "Oh, well, you know, it's a twenty percent increase." And I think that's when you start looking at numbers as low as they are. The data could be a little bit misleading in terms of like, okay, this means that things. Maybe improving the buy on the buyer side. We're going from two point basically two months and a week to two uh, to two months and two and a half weeks. So we're talking about maybe an extra week and a half difference between. Mm -hmm. But that that's a twenty percent difference when you talk about numbers this low. So it's notable. It is notable because you want to see if that continues to develop as a trend and what that means for you moving forward. But it indicates that there may be a little bit of softening, a bit. Nothing else, though. As we continue to proceed to this, you're going to see a change. So I think that's that's to be mm -hmm. recognized when we start reading numbers. So do, do you think it's more um, like softening or seasonal factors? I um, mean, when we look at year over year numbers, it's it's, it's definitely uh, it's a softening factor to a certain degree. Uh, but when you talk, about, it's like Okay, let me put it in layman's terms. If it's 98 degrees and the next day it's 96, mm -hmm. you're not noticing it much. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like you're changing the temperature from like, really, it's, it's, if you talk about change, it's a two degree change. You, when you go outside, you're not gonna feel it. Um, so, but yet it represents close to 20% difference uh, when you talk about year over year. So it's not like you're, you're basically looking at uh, something that you'd actually notice in the marketplace if you're buying at this point. Mm -hmm. well, if we start to see that number creep maybe over three and a half, I'd start saying, oh, well, maybe it could be uh, some real signs. So, you know, uh, but I don't, I don't, it's definitely, you know, it's not seasonal. So I, I would definitely recognize if it was because the next thing that I think we get to is is where we really see. Uh, the sale list price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that has um, decreased both year over year and month over month. So that's at 0.40% um, decrease year over year and 0.50% yeah. month over month decrease. So basically, so the sale list price is getting higher. So when you talk about those other numbers, sales to list price still remains high. Like I said, it's not changed very much. It's, um, and I'm going to go over that. There's a couple of specific data points in here that I'd like to go over because there are some really hot, like markets within the Monmouth Ocean counties that one is going to like hit you over the head because it's it's crazy to see one number that I came across that's just like it blew my mind. Mm -hmm. But we were down there in Monroe, 
and it seems to be pretty. It seems to be a pretty hot market. I mean, Monroe always seems to be uh, much to the chagrin of some people in the audience. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but it could be. It could be a little bit. Uh, yeah, the numbers are coming up uh, quite a bit in one one township. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, so then the next number that we have is the uh, sold medium listing. So the sold medium listing is actually up year over year 9% and down 0.70% uh, month over month. Is this the, did, did you see something funny? No. <laughs> No. Can I have to put you on the spot? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, okay, I won't do that. Um, <laughs> so the sold median price, uh, the sold median listing, nothing to nothing notable here. Uh, sold median listing is in the 545 to basically 545, 549 last year. It's up 9% year over year. Uh, that's what the house is when it's... So... It, I don't want to confuse people here. Maybe this is a little yeah. too too detailed. Uh, but the sole median listing, meaning what the house is, uh, like the average of the houses that are on the market, what people are actually purchasing, the price range. So it is in the 545 range. Mm -hmm. But that's not uh, sold. That, it seems a little weird there. I don't know. Those numbers don't kind of make sense. But no. It's not. I, I wouldn't pay too much attention to that one. We'll get on to the next one. Yeah, so that's the pending average listing. The pending average listing is up uh, like 4%, and it's also uh, year over year and also up 4% month over month. Sorry, <laughs> right. I'm a little Did you? off my game right You're off your game right No, I'm not off my game. <laughs> no. Don't make me start making you like ask. I'll find out after you get off this camera. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely like a little bit of a chuckle in there. Yeah. Anyway, is, is someone texting you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, well, you must have did something fun. I'll hear about later. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's got to be okay. something to this. No. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so those both increased about... Four percent. Carrie, you should know me by now. I'll never let you get away with anything. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna point it out. No. No. But anyway. Okay. <laughs> She's trying to stay on the topic and I'm really trying to move off of it. You're gonna have a hard time doing that. I can make I can assure you. <laughs> no. Oh my God, we're talking about stats. Right, yes. we are. <laughs> yes, Carrie, we are talking about stats. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> um, so the pending average listing, this is where it gets a little, this keeps good, this is one of those things. So pending average listing is basically what the houses that are in contract, what exactly are they priced around? Mm -hmm. And it continues to see an ascent, um, which is indicating that the pendings are this is what we look for, like those fellow indicators to say that, you know, there's something happening here. The pending average listing is up to 691, um, which is a 4%, uh, right, year over year different, four of a four and a, four and a third yeah. uh, year over year. And then I think that basically what we're seeing is, which is reflected in the numbers, is the median sold price still continues to accelerate. Um, New Jersey has not changed too much in terms of its heat. Um, and there, but I, I want to caution people because I, I looked at it. As I started looking at I wanted to start bringing down like the more detailed data because there are certain communities that are absolutely doing wildly better. And when time, sometimes when we do these stats, it's like you could get um, a snapshot of them and look at them in terms of, okay, this is what's happening as a, on a grand scale, but there's micro, like there's townships that do considerably better than others. And it's going to reflect here because I did want to delve into that number a little bit because it was like something that I just noticed. There are places that are absolutely screaming hot uh, and there's places that aren't um, and it's reflected. So when we take all this data together, it looks like, okay, well, everything's moving in the right direction. 
Some places actually aren't, but for the most part, it is. So that's a leading indicator that I, I can, that looks like it continues. So people consider, you know, based on these um, pending averages being 691, considering a six, 663 a year ago, it keeps them up. And that's yeah. a good leading indicator to say that it doesn't seem like there's any less, um, any less enthusiasm for housing in the Garden State, especially in Monmouth and Ocean County. So well, thank you. So the uh, sold average listing is next. That is up. I see you smiling. That is up um, 9% year over year, and it's down about 0.70% month over month. The sold average listing. Okay, so yeah, 8%. Um, yeah, and that's reflected in that sold pen in the pending, and it doesn't look like there's anything anything shooting off of that right now. Mm -hmm. So the sold average sale price is up. Uh, um, but this is where it gets interesting here because there's a big discrepancy between the sold median sale price and the sold average sale price. Um, New Jersey is experiencing quite a thrust in the luxury home segment. So people who are buying on the shore, there's a, there's a big discrepancy. I, I think that's why you're seeing there's a hundred thousand dollar difference between the median and the average, which is unusual typically. And why? Um, it's almost like they don't get it. Um, family biz, I, I don't get it. Uh, what specifically don't you get? Maybe uh, my my jargon too, too much. So if you watch through it, and if you have a specific question about, sorry, if I just interrupt this for a second, there's a question. Yeah. They, someone did get something, but let's get maybe they don't get the whole entire purpose of why we're on here. Yeah, <laughs> could be. Um, there's somebody here who says, Can someone explain this to me? Well, I, I, I think we're doing stats for that's what we're doing this for. Yeah, so you can get a better understanding of what's going on with real estate. I don't know what it is in your neck of the woods, but we can get people across the country. All right, um, why is this okay? Just ignore that. That's all right. Oh, I did not read that. Okay. Yes, you did. Well, we're now I did. Yes. I'm gonna take. I'm not leaving you out there here anymore. That's it. <laughs> yes. So, what were we talking about? The sold average listings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. Sold average listing median. Sold price uh, being a hundred percent difference, a hundred thousand dollar difference. There's two markets in New Jersey. There's the high end of the market, and there's the medium end of the market, and there seems to be a very big gap between um, like what people are purchasing for and what they are. Uh, there's a there's just a big gap between these high end buyers and maybe some people on the lower end. So there's the middle is. Kind of where it's a little bit mm -hmm. more challenging. That's what I'll leave that. The so, so that's yeah, the, yeah, that's the sold. That's uh, I'm sorry. That, that's going into sold medium sale price. Sold medium sale. So that is up year over year, um, about like eighteen percent, and it's down month over month. Sold medium sale. Sold medium sale. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's eight percent. What did I say? 18. Oh, sorry, 8.16 percent. Yeah, and it is down 0.11 percent. Yes, so 0.18 percent, uh, 8 percent. <laughs> Are you losing on me? No, I'm good. You're good. Okay, good. Yes, so there's nothing I kind of reflect that before in the stats. Um, nothing too like. Too much there besides what I just spoke about. So to elaborate more, it's at 500. It continues its uh, acceleration. The sold, what I'm really looking at is the sold average sale price being 100,000 more than the sold median. So again, it's showing that the market is too, it looks like um, is a good chunk of the buyers coming in at the higher end of the market. They're driving, um, the average sale price up 
median takes that out. So you get these high-end properties, they're not fitting into the median. The median takes the top and the bottom numbers and kind of washes them out so you get a better general understanding. Mm -hmm. So $100,000 is a notable difference, meaning that um, there's a, a split between um, between that, at the high end and, and the low end uh, where things are moving. Uh, I probably could break those stats down further, but yeah. no time for that. No? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> the, um, the new average listing mm -hmm. is up year over year 9.30%, and it's actually down 0.35% month over month. That's the... New average listing. Yeah. And the uh, sold average sale is up also year over year, uh, almost 9%, and it's down 1%. The new month. average listing is up uh, 9%. So basically, I mean, we're really going past where the numbers are suggesting. It's it's the market's going. People are, are basically pricing about one and a half percent over what the median sold prices are, are selling at. So there's a push to drive the prices higher. Obviously, sellers are more inclined to um, they're more inclined to push in the direction of getting more. Um, but which seems to be happening, maybe a little bit ahead of the market there. So 9% is notable. Um, but month over month, it seems to be in line. It's point down uh, maybe one third of 1%. Mm -hmm. So nothing month over month seems to be uh, pretty steady. Um, but we're going to see in the next couple of months what that, what that looks like mm -hmm. with this crazy time that we're going to be entering into. Crazy time. Crazy time. So that leads us to the active listings. Mm -hmm. The active listings are up year over year, uh, almost 13%, but it is down month over month, 1.38%. Yeah, from uh, so a month over month difference. Some of that's seasonal, a lot of that's seasonal. The active listings are up um, like 12% year over year. On new listings, um, the, the, I'm going to kind of bridge these two together, so I don't know if you're going to be getting into new listings. Is that the next question? Yeah, so the new listings. Yeah. Well, just let me just bridge them together yeah. so we kind of just knock two birds out with one stone. Ah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I hope there's no animal left. <laughs> oh, just... no. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Knocking two birds out with one stone, that's like, would you consider that to be pretty? Like... I mean, I, say, I do say that saying. Yeah. But I would never do that, actually. She did yes, but he's on No. <laughs> <laughs> Someone says she's actually missing rocks from the front of the house. I think she's gaslighting everybody into thinking it's not her throwing rocks at the birds. Sorry, two birds with one stone. No. <laughs> Somebody's stealing rocks from my house. <laughs> Who steals rocks from someone's house? I just want to know that. Yeah. <laughs> Who? The person who's throwing the the one rock at the two birds. Oh, no. <laughs> We're gonna have to check the fences around your house see if there's any birds on the ground. No. Anyway, <laughs> maybe a couple of dogs. I don't know. No. <laughs> but I let's. Love animals. You love animals, right? I do love animals. If you go happen to go look at like, I think you have a picture of you with the chicken. Yep. There's a, right. a picture of me with a chicken. Well, holding it. She was she was in love with the chicken. I wanted to take it home. They, she was selling them at the house. <laughs> oh, he's that high. <laughs> you get chickens in your house. <laughs> Did you think that's a good marketing ploy or what? I don't uh, know. To sell a chicken at a house? I don't know. <laughs> Kevin's fiance says she's coming with the house. They, they don't stay together. <laughs> that come with the house. What do you mean? <laughs> Is that I mean, if you sell the house, you're staying with it. What? Yeah, she's not getting it. I can't read 
Yeah, she's not carrying it. Let me turn Kelly out, I will not be paying you back. Oh, my sense of humor, I'm getting going too far. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make it out. Well, I just see another one. It was the most expensive house we sold. Um, I sold personally or the office. You still, you know, still, no, no. Anyway, we won't uh, be taking that. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, Jeez, that even threw me off my my tracks. Um, but anyway, the, guys, this is a real estate thing, please. Uh, let's get into the next thing, which is yes. um, what was it? The uh, so we were talking about active and new listings. Okay. How they kind of tied into each other. So basically, um, well, I kind of lost my train of thought. Um, we got we got into explaining everything else but real estate, but. Getting into like uh, the new listings, people aren't putting their house. Uh, it's seasonal right now. It looks like it's seasonal, so people aren't um, uh, aren't putting their house in the market due to seasonal seasonal reasons. So when we look at month over month stats, they're down twelve percent. Obviously, it's mm -hmm. August and September. People are going to school, so they kind of like you know they kind of move off of off of the. Um, the, the idea of selling while their kids are in school, basically, mm -hmm. or thinking that people aren't going to come around. When actually it's a good time to actually sell because as new listings come slow down, the amount of people looking at a particular house leaves you with a bit of um, a bit of room to uh, like get a better price because of the fact that there's a little bit of inventory. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, well, we got really thrown off there. We did. It's just so like completely went off the rails. <laughs> I'm like trying to keep my head smart. Like, you got to, I'm, I'm basically leaving this. The next one, there will not be an iPad yet. Okay. I, I'm promising you that. No, I think. It's just too, too distracting. Uh, yeah. Too distracting. Maybe. I had to log on to see what was happening. <laughs> yeah. She's logging on. I don't want to see what's happening. Um. Yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, yes. Well, the, the last things, the last stats here are the pending listing and sold listings. Yes. What do we have for pending? So pending is up um, almost 12% year over year, and it is down uh, like 7% month over month. 7%? 7.25%. It's down 7% month over month. Yeah. So that's what we have to be cool of, right? So pending listings year over year, uh, eleven percent, but down considerably. Um, this is one of the things. I mean, obviously we talk about. I mean, it's coming into November, so we know what that means. There's a little uncertainty around the way things are going, and I think people get a little nervous. Like, okay, is everything going to be normal once we get to? Um, this election cycle, yeah, which is anything but normal. If we say that at least. <laughs> Without uh, getting thrown off the internet. I know. <laughs> I mean, um, but anyway, it's, it's basically <laughs> anything we're, we're talking about is general, generally related to real estate. But there's uncertainty, and I think with uncertainty comes um, comes some people pulling back. A little bit, um, but I wouldn't say it's uh, it's changed too much. I, I do see the activity being pretty, still being pretty robust. It could be a little muted at times, but I do think at certain points we're getting to see like how this kind of next couple of months play out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be an interesting dynamic just to see how this. I've never experienced anything like this in my life, uh, so and I don't think anybody else has either. So we're going to see what next month looks like, which is going to be an interesting time, to say the least. Mm -hmm. um, no, I know. Well, that is going to be a crazy time. Yeah. We'll see what happens. 
But those are all the stats. Yeah, those. that's the stats. But I just wanted to point out a couple of things. One of the things is the hottest real estate markets in, in this is crazy. Uh, I came across, well, there's a couple of places in New Jersey, and I'm going to really point this one out, which is Monroe Township. Monroe Township is off the charts, um, and it seems to be skewing the data quite a bit. Monroe is up 22% year over year. It is one of the hottest uh, real estate markets going. 22%. So it went from 757 a year ago, um, 757 to 927 in the span of a year. So Monroe has seen one of the largest. And why I point out Monroe because of the volume of sales there is typically are. I mean, there's other places that show you know, 29%, but they're what I would consider smaller. Uh, the characteristics are too small to like say one thing or another. It's it's impacting the market. It's 102 percent of list price, sale to list price. Um, what did you do? Oh. I just fixed okay. myself on the chair. You just said so. Yeah, and uh, I need a big speak on the chair. <laughs> That's one of the things we need to change. Yes. Speak on chair. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, uh, let's see what else is going on here in my world. There's a couple of others. Uh, Manchester is up quite a bit. Uh, Manchester, Manchester's up 9%. Um, wow. Uh, Manchester's doing extremely well. 9%, 100% of list sell ratio. Uh, it's up 1% from a year ago. Um, but there's definitely, uh, a few markets. Um, interestingly enough, Jackson, um, Jackson, New Jersey, which we sold quite a few, has seen a little bit of drawdown. Um, not much, but a little bit. Um, a little drawdown there, uh, which is, uh, I think month over month it was down 7%. So it, it's one of those things where my, like for, for the, that area we're looking at. Um, a lot of houses sold though, um, 656 houses, 656 units, that's a lot, that's a lot of, a lot of houses there. Wow, yeah, that's, I mean, that's a big number. So Jackson's a high volume market, so it kind of moves. Uh, Freehold has done extremely well, it's up 13%, um, Freehold Borough up 19%, um, these places have done exceedingly well. Um, Interestingly enough, one of the ones that I did see was a little bit, um, a little bit less so, which was um, Spring Lake, New Jersey. Um, you okay? Yes. Spring Lake, New Jersey. Oh, Spring Lake is up twelve percent, ninety-seven percent list price. The average, just so you know, the average price in Spring Lake is now up to three hundred and eighty-one. Three million three hundred eighty-one thousand hmm. is the average um, average sale price. Oh wow! And it, it's, it's up. That's a big number. Yeah, it is. It's a huge number. So the average sale price in Spring Lake is three million dollars. That that broke Spring Lake two is million. A, a nice area, though. So. Yeah, the interesting thing is Seaside Heights has not done well. No. Yeah, Seaside Heights is down, uh, oh, it's down, um, it's up 8%, but it's down uh, month over month 11, 11% month over month decline. Hmm. Um, Seabright is way up there. Now Seabright is crossed over the, now over 2 million. Seager, um, Seager actually came down a little bit, 15%. It's, it's too, that's a very small number. Uh, so there's some places that have done exceedingly well. And that's where we go. Um, and that's what we have for this month. Um, which was an odd one. Yeah. I did see a, okay. a, no, a, a question right here. Well, hi, what do you think of real estate cashback coupons offered by top realtors to home buyers? Um, 
Home buy is now at the Paper Commission, according to the National Association of Realtors. Okay. Yeah. So if, when you mean a coupon, um, I think um, uh, I think <laughs> I think cashback coupons are basically built into your price. So if you're going to do any cashback coupons, uh, no, it's. I think when um, the realtor lawsuit came out. Um, basically, the buyer is technically responsible for the commission. Um, technically, the seller can offer concession out, um, but it's not something that I see happening. Not anymore. Uh, it used to be a thing at one time. Um, uh, that disappeared. There used to be cash back like things like a lot of time buyers offered. Uh, during, you usually see those during like buyer, buyer, uh, when it's like a buyer's market, mm. and people are trying to acquire more buyers, okay. so they kind of like look for these kinds of stuff, but it doesn't really work yet. Um, so anyway, do we have anything else? If not, that's what we're gonna call a night. Any more questions, um, appropriate ones, hopefully. Yes. But you can follow us on uh, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. TikTok. And we're coming up on our 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. YouTube. Oh, so yes. check out YouTube, guys. It's worth the subscription guys. if you really want to see all of New Jersey home tours. But we do, basically. Yeah. All that stuff. Everything's on there. All right. So that's what we have for today. And um, hopefully we'll see you uh, soon. Yes. Well, yeah. It's Friday. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Have a great day, guys. Um, any questions, please feel free to let us know. <laughs> yeah,